everyone. I've finally completed a project that's been going on for several years now. This project had a lot of design challenges, which is why it took so long to sort out. This is my all alcohol fuel stove. After the two cups of water have come to a boil, the stove is shut off and the remaining fuel collected. I had originally believed this stove would have been a fuel guzzler, but it was more fuel efficient than I thought. I also repeated the test with ISO heat or very high purity isopropanol. Known for being very difficult to use as stove fuel, but very high in energy density. As you can see here, the characteristic yellow flame of isopropanol. Here we have 91% rubbing alcohol. The stove flares up as the fuel in the vapor generator loop gets boiled and forced out the orifice. It calms down for the rest of the preheat. I was surprised to see the 91% boil the two cups of water the fastest. None of the fuels put any soot on the pot, which was nice to see. Methanol had a boil time of 3 minutes 15 seconds, consuming 47 milliliters or 1.5. 5.8 fluid ounces of fuel. 
The ISO heat boiled in 3 minutes 30 seconds and consumed 44 milliliters of fuel or 1.48 fluid ounces. The 91% rubbing alcohol boiled in 2 minutes 30 seconds and consumed 41 milliliters of fuel or 1.38 ounces. Well, I'm about to head out of here. Maybe I'll turn it around like that. Got my lunch rehydrating in the pack. I'll eat it later. First time using that uh, homemade liquid feed alcohol stuff. That works pretty good, except uh, it's difficult to know when you've got it lit. You know, typical alcohol problems there. I didn't come out for a fall colors trip, but that's sure what I got. This is a pretty cool campsite. Um, I don't know if I put my tent in the right spot, but this was so hard to put a stake into over here. Look at this fire pit, isn't that cool? Yeah, I had no plans on uh, making a fire, so I just didn't. <laughs> 